Hip, hip! Yeah, that was a solid effort. Key West Legal Rum, that's right. Cabrina Aviate Racing, Adventure Sports Miami, and Key West Legal Rum. All right, I'm out here at the uh, Cabrina Aviate Regatta. Uh, we're getting ready to kick off the first start here. All right, yeah, we've got the uh, race committee boat right there. Key West Legal Rum! All right, I'm coming up here to the top mark. Got our top racer coming in here, right on the ley line about now. He's gonna put a little bit in the bank. Looks like uh, Ren and Healy's in here pretty close. Oh, we got a port tack ley line. For the mark, Cabrina AV81 design. All right, we've got our second place rider coming in locked in, loaded. He's gonna go in for a nice tack. Boom, full power tack. I can't really, that looks like it's Marcus. Marcus was heavily favored to win out here today. They're right fighting it out for first here. Number 09 out of St. Pete, Florida. I don't even think I can catch him on this EPO today. All right, looks like we got Marcus made it back up in there in the first place. Right around the top mark. Followed, woo, closely. Wow, oh, looks like we had Brendan Healy sneak up in here. Brendan Healy knocking it out for second place around the top. So we have James McGrath, absolutely the last place off the start. Fell a couple of times, man. He's worked himself all the way up in here to a fourth position. And he's running by the mark. Let's see if he can catch him going downwind. All right, we're gonna zip on up here and talk to some of our top finishes. James! So James, I watched that whole race. You had a pretty tough start. Looks like you might have uh, been over earlier. You went back or something. No, yeah, well, I started, I thought, I thought I saw like a good left hand side. I was just trying to see if I could get a left hand swing. So I tacked early, tried to, I thought I had enough room to make in front, but then I had to duck everyone. And then the actual, the left handy when I hand her and I got up to that side of the course, everyone was on start, but I was on court. It gave me an advantage to climb back, but I couldn't get up back to where I needed to. Right, man, you had a pretty good start. You were, uh, were you top around the weather mark? Uh, I was second, I was first around the first feet. And then second around, or sorry, second and third around the second week. Um, you gotta stay in the pressure out here, that's for sure. Man, it was pretty gusty, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Marcus ended up coming back and winning that one, right? Yeah, he went, he drives and went right gate, and I went left gate, and right gate paid. He was in the better breeze on the second week. Going in for the uh, second race of the AV8 Regatta here. It's a Cabrina AV8 Regatta. He's got James right up here on top. He's coming over top about 10 seconds away. We're gonna see a good start here. Alright, all clear, all clear. Looks like a good right, we got first and second right here. That's uh, Marcus down low. Looks like we got uh Oh, this is gonna be a tight race. Jason, Marcus. This is right around the top here. Both of them hit the water. Oh no. Oh no, Marcus back up in the lead here. I think we've got a lap rider, is that? That might be a lap rider. That might be that might be our boy Daniel right there. All right, we've got a looks like our third place rider. Looks like DK Brian Camar going to be coming in tight around this mark, but he's got a tight crossing here. Is he going to make his tack? He might make his tack. Oh my God, he's in the water. All right, we've got another racer coming across the top, trying to dump down low. All right, tight racing up here, real tight racing. All right, looks like we've got Healy. Clean through his tack, clean through his tack. He's having a tough race here, but he's gonna come back on this one. All right, I'm out here at the uh, Cabrina AVA class racing here in Miami. Gonna get the uh, first race of day two coming up. Ready for a good start here. We're gonna follow him up when. Looks like we got Brian Camelar right down here. All right, we've got uh, Daniel from South Carolina. I'm looking to better his results from yesterday. So Brian, we got a fresh breeze today, huh? Looking pretty good out here. You're looking good in these conditions, huh? Did you have for the 14? On the 11, all right. Are there any, any guys on 14s today? Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I don't know if I'm in first place if I run with that decision. <laughs> good luck, man. We've got uh, Jason and James. James, you ready for it? it? Looks like the wind's a little lighter today. What do you think about your chances today? Fresh breeze coming in. All right, good luck. It looks like you got a, a little bit of breeze coming in.
coming out of the right, but it looks a little shifty over there. Jason, out of St. Pete, winner of parties and races. Gonna zip on up here and see what he's got to say. Good. How's the board feel yesterday? Feels good. Yeah? Good, I saw you had a little collision in one race yesterday. For first and second. Second right at the top mark, a little body check. And it looked like upwind, you guys were all pretty dang similar. It came down to who stayed up, right? Okay, with this 11 meter, I'm kind of guessing you're going to have a pretty good opportunity in this, uh, in the breeze off the first race or two. Yeah, I agree. All right, we'll rip it up, man. This is going to be the first race of day two. Winds are about to 11 to 12, maybe 13 miles per hour. A couple of higher puffs. It's out of the northwest, so it's a little bit shifty. I'm going to let you see what it's like for these racers coming through the start line. All right, they're going to be locked and loaded. Most of them are going to be coming through on starboard tack. As they come in here, they're gonna to try to hit this line at exactly zero seconds. They're gonna rip up in here, clean the start line, and go for the weather mark. The two lap race, windward, leeward gate, windward, down around the bottom mark, and finish. All right, now we're in start sequence. Let's see what we get on these guys. We got Phil down here uh, of Olympic windsurfing fame, taking a shot on the uh, Cabrina AV8 this week. This looks like uh, Marcus the Stash right over here, number 12. Uh, bring it in, looks like he's gonna go for the uh, windward end of the line. Bill's a hell of a smart racer down here. He knows how to go fast. Uh, he took today off, but we're gonna see how he does today. All right, we're gonna zip it up and follow him right through the start line here. Everybody's lining up for a couple seconds to go, and boom, clean start. Everybody on the line, ripping up wind. Now, this is interesting. This is Marcus. Uh, he was widely favored. He's leading after day one. He's coming in, he was the only guy that went the 14 meter kite, and he is absolutely pulling a horizon job on the fleet today. Knocking it, nice weather, Mark rounding and ripping up. All right, we've got our second place rider coming up here. I'm gonna zip around and follow him. It looks like this is Jason. It looks like this is second place rider, Jason D'Agostino, just locked and loaded, but that 11 is just not gonna be enough for him today. Followed closely by number 11 down here. That looks like Brendan Healy. Brandon is probably just gonna miss this ley line. Looks like Jason came in a little hot, uh, and oh, Brandon might have to throw the tack in. That's gonna be the end of his day on that line. We're gonna follow Brandon Healy on this downwind here just a little bit. So he had a tough time. He missed his ley line right there, but now he's locked and loaded. We've got kind of the second pack of riders coming up here. Looks like we've got Mitch uh, on port tack. He's gonna have to read his way through these racers on starboard tack. All right, right at the top here, James having a tough race. Not sure what happened there, but he's got to go to the top last week. He's got to go to the top Nice, nice full speed jive. And into it. Went right into the jive. We have uh, Brian Camelar in a tight heat here with Mitch. Mitch is driving in from bottom. Brian is looking to stay in that breeze and driving low. Mitch is really getting that kite going. He's going a little faster and a little lower than Brian is right now. All right, we've got Marcus here. He has a tough race inside the water. We're going to watch this thing walk around right now. All right, coming in. up around this weather mark absolutely hauling rear almost lost it up the second race of Sunday here looks like we've got um, that looks like this is number 11 Brendan Healy uh, taking a big right he's the first he's leading the fleet out to the right right up here along in the city he lucked out over here a little bit he's got some good pressure we're gonna see where that puts him around the weather mark Brendan's only racing with an 11 meter kite and I think Marcus the top competitor out here is on a 14 today Brandon made it through his tack. The wind was a little bit light. Let's see if he's on a ley line. All right, he's looking pretty good here. Looks like he might be on a ley line. He hit this thing really close. We've got Marcus up here on a 14 meter kite. He's gonna be first around the weather mark. Let's see if Brandon can lay this, lay this mark. Maybe not. All right, we're gonna circle back around. Looks like James is having a good race over here in third place overall. That's Brendan Healy. Unfortunately, it looks like he's gonna have to make another two tacks to get around that weather mark. There's one, we're gonna follow him right up here through it. Oh man, he's struggling with that light wind. He's gonna come up here for one more tack. There he is getting his way through a tack. The wind is really starting to get a little bit light. Looks like James might have actually made it in the, 
made it in the door. I'm not sure if he's gonna make it. it looks like he is. Oh, James is just past Healy around the weather mark. They're gonna dive downwind. Looks like uh, Healy's taking the low road. James is going high and gonna go for a jog. Looks like we've got Mitch. This is one of his better races here. He's locked. He's on lay line. We're still looking for uh, Jason D'Agostino, our second place finisher from uh, the cumulative scores yesterday. There goes Mitch. Oh, and here's the guy we've been looking for. Looks like he got stuck over there on the left side of the course. This is gonna be a throw out for uh, Jason, no doubt about it. Phil Moeller bringing it up to the top here. And it looks like we've got Jose Umana having a good race. And unfortunately, it looks like Brian Kamlar's having a rough one here today. All right, we're out here for the last and final race of the Miami Key West Legal Run AV8 event. It's here, most of the riders on uh, 11 meter kites. Looks like we got Mitch uh, up here on uh, number 22. Uh, Jose Amada down low. I think we've got James all on his own out there in front. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. We're about, uh, we're under, say under 20 seconds to start, probably under 10 seconds here. We've got everybody locked and loaded, coming into the start line really tight. All right, that's James, number 07 right there. And we got a clean start. Everybody's a little bit late on this one. Oh, we got one port tacker. Still got some racers coming through. Oh, one port tacker. This is gonna get ugly in the middle. Oh, nice tack, almost gets out of it. Everybody come in hot. Looks like that might be, can't tell who's in first place here. It looks like this is, oh, this is clearly Marcus here, struggling, fighting his way back. Man, looks like uh, Brandon Healy may be launched on this one. Marcus is powering up point with that 14 meter height. That breeze has got a bit of pressure now. All right, James is having a great race here. He's in top three, probably second place overall. Followed closely by uh, Jason Agostino. All right, this is a great race for Jose Omana. He's locked, he's up here at number 15. That's Jose Amana having his best race so far. Looks like he's going over the top of Jason D'Agostino. We're gonna see how it comes out the weather mark. We're coming around this weather mark right now. We're gonna get it up close. Looks like that's Brandon Healy closely followed by, gosh, I think that's Marcus on the 14. There's a big boat speed difference here. There's Brandon looping it, trying to bring it downwind. Brandon's got a little bit smaller kites than the other guys on this race. We've got a heck of a race coming on here. Super tight racing right here. First and second, that's Marcus. No mustache Marcus and Brandon Healy ripping downwind. Followed by Jose Omana having his best race so far. Yep, that's Jose Omana bringing it down, hauling ass downwind. We've got Phil Moeller diving deep. Phil Moeller diving deep, got a good speed. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Hey, <laughs> right. <laughs> GoPro, stop off racer. He's just doing basically a victory lap right now. This is Marcus right around the top mark. Let's see if he can't get him to boost it. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, little mid race antics. Do a little mid race interview. So, how's this race working out for you? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, they're racing downwind. Marcus is just kind of messing around here. He's toying with Brendan Healy's emotions. He's just letting Brendan get close just to destroy his little... I'm going to wrap up this uh, Miami uh, Cabrina AV8 regatta sponsored by Key West Legal Rum and Adventure Sports. It was a hell of a race out there. We got, in, we got about uh, nine races out of uh, the Sunday. We had a lay day on Friday, but uh, the racers made the most out of it with the Key West Legal Rum over at the Adventure Sports opening party. Uh, this fleet's really going to be something else. I'm pretty stoked to say that we've been invited to attend the uh, um, upcoming massive event that I can't even tell you about yet. What's up, man? Woo! Yeah, West Legal Legal Row. Row. Thank you, Paul Manta. Thank you. You're the man, man. Thank you very much. Cheers. Great talk. You never fell, though, did you? 
Oh, of course I did, a lot of times. But thanks for everything, uh, you guys, Adventure Sports, uh, Kiwis League of Rum, the Yacht um, Club. Oh man, all, all the, the volunteers, volunteers off the Donna chart. Sue, John, Hudson, Peter, everybody, man. Huge thanks to our volunteers. Obviously, we had, uh, I think we had 18 volunteers out there through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we like literally, had, this is just completely impossible without people volunteering to help. So huge, huge thanks to Paul. He donates all these these badass trophies, these hats. They're, they're totally awesome. Like without Paul, this this would be considerably lamer. So huge thanks to Paul. Woo! Thank you, Paul. So we like could not do this without her, and it's we couldn't have a better person responsible for it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you guys. I have so much fun running these events. So we have a couple of acknowledgments, and then we'll get into the podium. So we would like to have James McGrath. Where's James? Uh, about a buck forty. This guy is smoking. A buck forty is very generous. Yes. So he is, he is our under twenty one. So if you guys can have a winner that we would like to acknowledge. And if Jose is here, he actually scored under his age. He scored a 77. We know you're not oh, 77. Wow. Thank Congratulations. You so much. Thank you so much. Jose is actually responsible for bringing a lot of the young people into the sport. Your son, Andy, and Joseph, and everybody that you've brought into the sport really makes it kind of a family event. Freaking great job, man. Love you, man. You, you make it for all of us. We're gonna start with number three. And it is Brendan. Come on down. Pick the trophy. Oh my gosh, hold I'm on. I'm loser. <laughs> Not true, you're a winner if you take that damn thing home, dude. Number two, one of my favorites, who I see on the race course a lot. Number two. Jason, come on down. He scored a 23, barely over his Good job. age. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey, you did great. It's upside down. Boom. <laughs> so now we go to our top performer of the weekend. If Marcus will come up to the podium. What? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice job, dude. Good job, guys. <laughs> Look forward to doing it again as soon as possible. Dude, congratulations, man. You rocked it. Thanks. Key West Legal Rum, man. Super stoked with the sponsors. <laughs>